Welcome to my channel. Back with another movie recap. This is a drama, horror and mystery genre movie. The movie has won FCCA award for best original music from Film Critics Circle of Australia Awards in 2018. Also it has been nominated for 23 awards from several cinema and film festivals and awards in 2017. The film has rating 6.3 from IMDb. The name of the movie is, Berlin Syndrome, and release year is 2017. I hope you enjoy it. And as quick reminder this video contains spoilers. In the first scene, Claire, a young female traveler, arrives in Berlin, Germany. In the evening, she joins a bunch of individuals, some of whom are likely also travelers, on the hostel's rooftop for an outdoor gathering. She wakes up early to capture the dawn with her camera and then packs a day's worth of clothes and touring into her rucksack. She goes shopping for clothing and slides, and she snaps pictures out on the town, including one of a woman drying a bright sheet outside her flat's window. She stops by a bookstore and picks up a coffee table art book. When she exits the store, she joins a man named Andy who leads her to the sidewalk where they wait for the traffic signals to change. He stumbles and Claire helps him up. This leads to a dialogue in which he questions why she's by herself and gives her some strawberries. Claire visits the public garden where strawberries are grown with the help of Andy. Andy says it's a great spot to complicate life, but Claire sets him straight, saying he should contemplate life instead. Claire disregards her mother's phone call. They are almost kissing as he drives her back to her lodging. He turns down her offer of a drink at the bar. The next day, Claire goes out again to do some sightseeing and locates Andy at the same bookstore, perusing the art book. They hang out all day. He then transports them back to his own home, where they find peace and solitude. His flat is located on the second floor, hidden from view behind a secured lobby and a tiny courtyard. They stay the night, and she expresses her desire to extend her stay here rather than continue on to Dusseldorf. He is a teacher at a school nearby, and every morning he must get up and go to work. One student, Franca, discusses the assigned reading for the class. After getting ready to depart, Claire discovers she is trapped inside the flat. She also discovers that none of the windows work and that there is no spare key. She decides to stay in her flat, prepares some food, and awaits for Andy's comeback because she thinks everything happened by mistake. When he gets home, Claire tells him she was unable to leave, and he recalls that he neglected to leave a key for her. She asks playfully, did you lock me in, and he responds, yes sure, but next time I'll tie you to the bed, then they proceed to have sexual activity in the bath. They club hop for two nights, and she stays over the second. Before he departs for work in the morning, he shows her where the key he left on the drawer is. While making herself morning meal, she casually explores the flat and discovers a set of artworks from the bookstore. When she flips up to her favorite page, she sees an image of herself sleeping with the word, mine, inscribed on her shoulder. A ring that her mom gave her to hawk and return home if she gets into trouble, has personal importance and has disappeared from the chain that upsets her even more. She panics as she realizes the key won't unlock the door, her cell phone has no reception, the other door inside the apartment is locked, and there are no operable windows. She attempts to smash the glass with a chair, but discovers a second, strengthened glass behind it, making her feel even more threatened. Claire is waiting for him when Andy gets back, she tries to escape, but Andy won't allow her. He shuts the door and confronts her about the shattered pane, nonchalantly warning that he will have to border them up if she attempts to do it again. She realizes the gravity of the situation and begs him to release her, but instead he gives her flowers and asks whether she enjoys spaghetti. She loses her cool and tries to kick and hit him, but he manages to pin her to the bed, telling her that no one will hear her screaming because the city is deserted. Andy's dad questions him why he was late the next day when he goes to see him. Andy claims to have made a new friend and has filled him in about Claire. When his dad inquires about his girlfriend Natalie, Andy explains that she has now moved back to Canada. Andy comes back to the apartment and keeps Claire tied to the bed with the plastic sheet. After accidentally relieving herself in the bathroom, she unties her shoelaces to take a shower and notices chunks of long blonde hair in the sink drain. He assures her mother through text message that she is fine and brings her home a puzzle before telling her proudly about telling his father about her. The following day, Andy goes to work, and Claire is unrestrained and free to explore the flat. 
We watch as he places the key box on a shelf in the building's hallway and locks it shut. After looking all over her flat, Claire finally locates a screwdriver hidden behind the sofa. He arrives home to discover Claire working on the puzzle, after offering his assistance, she uses the chance to pin him to the table with a screwdriver. She snatches the keys and runs out the front door toward the outdoor space, but on her way out, a heavy door jams and Andy captures her, crushing her hand and shattering her finger. Back in the flat, he holds a sleepy Claire. The next day, he sees his dad. When Claire gets home, he tries to restore peace to the tense situation. She keeps begging him and telling him how much she misses her mother, but Andy reminds her that there's no need crying over lost time because she has him. Andy is often taking pictures of Claire, generally with her naked, Andy sees an excited Franca, a female student, in gym class the following day. When Claire tries to open the locks using a paperclip, she breaks off a piece of the interior door and becomes concerned that Andy will find her effort. He shifts between loving, possessive, and nasty behavior with Claire, and the taunting and intimidating behavior continues. Andy is in the midst of giving Claire a bath when Franca unexpectedly arrives at the door. Andy claims he will murder Claire if she tells anything. When Andy opens the door, Franca starts chatting him up by saying she tracked him back. Andy calls Claire his lover after finding her positioned in the corridor with just a towel, so she runs away. After returning inside, Claire asks what her name is and Andy continues to take photographs of her while he trims her hair. He is angry with Claire when he finds out later that the interior door will not open. Time has passed, and the holidays have here. Claire is terrified of Andy, but as he teases her, she loses control and acts out, Andy eventually asks her to be normal and becomes violent in his anger, forcing him to flee to his dad's house. After a power outage leaves Claire in the dark chilly for days, she makes do with not much supplies she manages to scrounge. Andy stays at his father's house for a few days after his death before calling his caregiver. Underneath the bed, Claire discovers another girl's toenail clippings. Once Andy comes back to the flat a couple of days later, Claire is delighted. Claire says Andy that she thought he wasn't coming back since she didn't know the electricity had gone out. They make love as Andy tells Claire about his dad's death. Claire gradually becomes more at ease and begins to tidy, cook, make an effort with her looks, and perform music. At Christmas, Andy presents her with a piece of literature and his dad's dog. Claire probes for further information about his selection of her, and he reveals that he had organized the interaction at the bookstore after seeing her on the street, staring at the lady airing the blanket out the window. Claire sneaks into the secure space while Andy is out celebrating the new year and finds his camera, a massage chair, and a picture book chronicling Claire's time spent in captivity. Claire also comes across an album depicting a blonde girl who was chained and tormented in a similar fashion. Andy strikes up chat with another young female traveler and makes the same grammatical error he did with Claire, mistaking the words, contemplate life, for, compensate life, but the girl and her companion eventually depart. Once back in the cooking area, Claire sees a beam of light coming through the walkway and yells for help as she breaks the newly mended window pane. Nearly liberating Claire, a guy reaches the flat's door, but Andy arrives to murder him with a hammer. Andy mocks Claire for the man's death, making her help him wrap up the body before he burns it in the coal pit in the courtyard. Confused, he asks Claire to gather her things because he is fumigating the apartment after seeing her photo in a missing people ad in the local newspaper. Claire sees Andy's pile of graded student assignments on the table. While Andy goes to get some cream for her burned hand, she secretly hides Franca's notebook. Franca quickly and quietly gets out of class on her bicycle after making the finding. When the other pupils discover the photo on the floor, they alert Andy, who then runs straight to the flat, only to become trapped in traffic. Andy discovers Franca's bicycle at the front entrance and the smashed cellar window through which she entered. In the backyard, he discovers an unlocked lockbox and a broken window. Claire had left the flat and left the front door unlocked. As he climbs the stairs, he encounters Claire, who has taken refuge in a hidden cabinet. As he enters the chamber where Franca has taken refuge, he is lured back inside by Claire's appeal. While his attention was diverted inside, Claire quietly left the flat and locked the door behind her, trapping Andy inside. When Claire realizes she no longer has to deal with the flat or Andy, she feels an overwhelming sense of relief. Claire, hearing Andy's imploring pleas for rescue, throws the keys away from the apartment's exterior and yells triumphantly at him. 
She is a collector and just discovered a bag containing her mom's ring and passport. Andy unwinds in his massage chair as Claire drives across Berlin, taking in the sights and reveling in her independence. That was recap of Berlin Syndrome. Thank you so much for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Also, feel free to comment about this recap.